French fries are my favorite food. Nobody knows French fries better than me. Without a good French fry, the whole meal could be ruined. Sort of like without a good president, a whole country could be ruined, right, Donald? Look who's talking, you piece of sh Boys, holy hell, let us get right into this list as there are so many French fries on this list. Starting off, Burger King. Well, Burger King Whoppers are trash, but we're not talking about burgers, we're talking fries. Very perceptive, Joe. I'm surprised you're even awake. Burger King fries are a little too greasy and soggy for my taste. If I was going to eat gooey potatoes, I would just mash my own potatoes or just eat silly putty fries. You have the same taste in fries as you do in politics. Donald Mid is hell. I'm placing Burger King fries in B tier. They're soggy, sure, but sometimes it is satisfying to grab a wad of them and just snuggle them right into your salivating mouth, okay? Next is Culver's. Culver's fries are great. I think me and Donald can agree on this. They're crunchy and crinkle style. Perfect for dipping and not too thick or dry. Unless they're old. Old like you, right, Joe? I think across the board we should be talking about the fries in their best state. To be as fair as possible. Fresh and ready for eating, okay, boys? You're always so fair, Barack. Always taking the high road, aren't you, pal? Always got to be better than us, right, Barack? Donald, this goes smoother when the president takes charge. Barack is right. We're all presidents, or have you forgotten that, too? All right, Culver's in a tier. Five guys next, Barack. Joe, that's not in order. It's okay, Barack. Joe does not even know he is alive. Put five guys in a tier, Barack, because I love how smooth and crispy and soft they are. Let me guess. Easy to chew, right, Joe? I like five guys' fries, Barack. They're a tad too stringy and thin for me, setting yourself up to bite your own tongue. But they are amazing. They're just too greasy. So greasy, in fact, if you leave them in the paper bag too long, the grease will practically eat to the fucking bag. You're right, Donald, but that is what fries are for. Anyway, let's B-tier them. Nobody goes to Five Guys to order just fries. I do, Donald, I do. That's because your taste buds fell off 800 years ago, you dinosaur. We need to move on seriously. But no Five Guys fries are way better than Burger King. In fact, I'm placing Burger King fries in C-tier. Okay, next up we have Arby's Curly Fries. Complete and total fire. Now that is a fry worth picking up even without the sandwiches. And the sauces are amazing. We're not ranking sauces, you ape just french fries, stay focused. But I agree, curly fries are the shit and can be dipped in horseradish and BBQ sauce just fire all around. B tier because they get a little greasy. Barack, what is with you and not liking grease that is literally what fries are cooked in? While I'm at it, I'm placing Hardee's in B tier as well. Okay, since when did you become the Fuhrer Barack? That's the open secret I always have been done. Now let's do Kane's crinkle fries. How you guys feeling about Kane's chicken strip fries? The fries are great, but the sauce is even better. Joe, again we are ranking fries, not sauces, numb nuts. But yeah, I agree, a very decent fry by itself, but without the sauce, they are almost like fries you could bake from a frozen bag at home. Okay, B-tier, honestly, we need to save God-tier for the fries that could end all world wars and bring peace to mankind. I'm getting tired of your virtue signaling, Barack. It's really throwing me off. I just want to eat fries. He isn't virtue signaling, Donald. He is just being presidential, something you could take notes on. But it's not really necessary anymore since I'm the president's, right, Donald? Sure, Joe and Barack will have to remind you of that in like five more seconds. Donald, I will end this list in five seconds if you don't stop bickering like an old married couple. Now next is Wendy's. Barack, if I wanted to eat a potato with no salt, I would become a farmer or get stranded on Mars. I agree, Barack. No taste means no good. It might be one of the most decent fries out there, but at least they taste like real potatoes, and for that, they get D tier. Next is an in out Burger. You guys have to admit, these are some of the most fucking fire fries on the entire planet that you can order at any restaurant or drive through. Seriously, you can legit tell them you want them animal style, and they make your fries into this cheesy, flavorful, zesty meal all unto itself. I literally cannot say enough good things about these. Barack, they are godlike, no question. Even by themselves, they are already fresh tasting and salty enough. A perfect contrast to Wendy's mid-embarrassment of fries. Wendy's should be ashamed of itself. in and out fries are god-tier. French fries, Barack, French fries from in and out please, Barack, yummy, tasty, hot, and flavorful on my tongue. I gotta admit, Joe, a strange way to agree with us, but yes, god-tier. Next is Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Now I have to say, these are incredible by themselves, but we cannot forget to mention the Chick-fil-A sauce. It is so fantastic. Place those fries in God tier right now, Barack, or I'm going to start to make a scene. I agree, Joseph. My name is Joe Biden, and those fries are so good that I approve of closed on Sunday. Next, Taco Bell. 
These fries were universally accepted, I believe, as being a unique and inventive flavor of fry that is strangely not stomach churning to dip into nacho cheese. I think the fact they actually made the fries work means they deserve like B tier. It's kind of hard to pull off a new staple item on an already well-known menu. Donald Taco Bell changes their menu on a regular basis. As soon as I get used to ordering something, it is gone the next day. Yes, but the fries, Joe, the fries. I can taste them, Barack. Is that what you're asking me? C tier it is. They are a little floppy. And honestly, when I think about a perfect fry, I think McDonald's. McDonald's is my favorite food, Barack. I practically live off the stuff. The fries are godlike, and there is a reason McDonald's has been on top for such a long time. That's right, Donald. When the general public likes something or someone, it tends to stay. Sort of like my two-term presidency. I'm messing with you, of course, Donald, but McDonald's deserves A tier. Although they used to be more authentic as the people have forgotten what they were like. Literally just look up what Julia Child says about them. Haha, <laughs> Donald likes McDonald's. Joe, I thought you were 800 years old, not five. McDonald's fries are golden, crunchy, soft for chewing, and consistently good. A solid A-tier Barack. Good choice. Nice to see you're still with us, Joe. I'm like a rash Donald. I always come back. Pizza Hut next, boys. No comment, Barack. Pizza Hut has fries. Trash tier. Let's go get Pizza Hut fries, Mommy and Daddy. Said no one ever. Next is the Shake Shack fries. Shake Shack has decent fries, but nothing to rave about. They're actually thin and almost garbage. Move on, Barack. I'm actually getting sick thinking about those fries. They're mid and that's the end of it. Nothing special. D tier, what a burger? It's named what a burger for a reason because the fries are mid compared to the burger. Throw them in the trash, Barack, and don't look back. Ultra rapid fire round, boys. Donald DQ fries go. Copium DQ uses generic crinkle fries. Throw them in D, Barack. White Castle Joe, my nice vice. They have taste, but not enough oomph C tier, Barack. I'm throwing Captain D's into trash. They're greasy like the fish, you might as well use a spoon to scoop out the grease instead of a potato. Donald Jack in the box, Golden Fries are next. Jack in the box, Golden Fries are C-tier, their curly fries own them any day of the week, and if you think differently about it, then you are coping, my friend. Just like the election, right, Donnie? Go to hell. Joe. Okay, so I'm also placing Jack in the box, curly fries in a tier, Joe Freddy's fries, my old friend. Honestly, I want to say they're great, but they actually disappointed me greatly, D-tier Barack. They almost have no taste, and they taste like potatoes, but not fresh potatoes, and just give me tummy aches, throw them in the trash. Joe, are you blind and you cannot taste? These fries are at least C-tier. When is the last time you had a Freddy's fry? They may not be something to look forward to, but they get the job done, and they're no Pizza Hut fries. Moving them to D-tier. Okay, last rapid fire for now. Donald Bob Evans, goo. All I'm going to say is there is a reason Bob Evans is disappearing everywhere. This is mid what the fuck seriously ranking Bob Evans fries is like asking someone if they like the French fries from IHOP. It is shoehorned in there for picky eaters that hate all breakfast items basically for kids. Trash them, Barry. Solid, I agree, and while I'm at it, I will throw IHOP into the dumpster as well. Joe rank Long John Silvers. D tier Barack, they may be mid, but they're no Captain D's. I like the orange Denny's fries, Barack. To be completely honest with you, Donald, I do as well, but they will remain in trash as no one has time to go get those things. I'm not tipping for fries and moving on. Next up is Lion's Choice French Fries. Lion's Choice, what a joke. They have choice in their name, but there is only one choice of fry here. It's actually more like Lion's despotism, like you are eating these fries or else we have broccoli or apple juice you can eat. No one knows despotism more than Barack, so what do you think about their fries, Barack? You're coping. If you think of lion's choice when you think of getting fries, they're thin, almost like shoestrings. If I was going to eat fries like this, I might as well go to Foot Locker and buy shoestrings and eat those like a fry pasta. Just worthless. I'm loving you, Barack, you Red Robin mix. Red Robin fries are actually really great and have a nice flavor and decent amounts of salt. Just a delicious fry and really filling. You guys are making me believe in democracy again. Yes, place Red Robin in B-tier Barack. And Sonic fries get C-tier, they're just generic, my guy. You're lying to yourself if you think Sonic's fries are better than Wendy's. Put them below Wendy's in D-tier Barack. You're right, Donald. Life is a lie if we do not change this order. Done now. Popeye's fries next. And I better hear only great things from both of you. These fries and their chicken sandwiches were game changers and saved the entire company. A-tier, I agree. Barack, I love Popeye's fries almost as much as the sandwich. Yes, so flavorful. I like me some delicious flavoring on my fries. They're close to godlike, but let us democratically keep them here in A. 
Right now, I think let's scope out a God tier. Fry in and out and Chick Fil A are looking a little lonely. The Rock put five guys up in God tier. They are more than just a side. They are godlike and do not argue with me. If you you think about it, they are better than Wendy's, better than Burger King, better than McDonald's, better than what a burger. Just beating the big boy fast food chains even alone make them deserve the top row, my guy. Barack Joe is finally talking some sense. Just place five guys fries in God tier and let's do another rapid fire round where my name is an honest Don. But Donald, your name is an honest Don. Okay, you loopy motherfuckers, jack in the box, curly fries, go. A tier Barack, solid addition. If I do say so myself and trust me, I know fries. Barack, we already ranked them into A tier and I'm falling asleep right now. Come on, Joe, you bitch Arby's. You set it up, I'll lock it in. Barack Arby's is B tier, tasty, salty, warm, delicious. Next is Hardy's. Damn, Barack, what is the difference at this point? Arby's, Hardy's, potato, patata. I'm placing Hardy's in C tier. Don't drop out, Donald. My finger is moving towards the end call button on my monitor, Barack. There are too many fries left, and they are all from restaurants. Honestly, almost all restaurant fries almost all taste the same. Thick, crispy, and good for dipping. They are basically potato shovels with no real distinctions between them. Just boring as all hell. Don't log off yet, Donald. Joe Church's chicken french fries. Joe, please. Answer me, Joe. Okay, well, shit. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, Michelle, I'm coming. I mean, here I come, sweetie. Don't be so salty, baby. Obama out. My name is uh, Joe Biden. I am Joe Biden's salty french fry. Mm. Oh, tasty fries. 